this is uh, ESC TV and I'm Tom Lusher uh, and I will interview Roberto Ferrari who is the chairman of the European Observational Research Programme or the EORP uh, that looks into registries in Europe. Roberto, welcome. Thank you, Thomas. So what is a registry, Roberto? It's quite strange to explain to you what a registry is because you know it very well. But uh, uh, as you know, there are two different ways of uh, collecting data. Exactly. One way is uh, to do clinical trial, but often the reality or the data that the clinical trial are producing do not correspond to the real world. And the registry is uh, a mechanism, is a system in order to collect data in the real world and they are very important for the ESC because they will tell us whether the, the different national society are following the guidelines or not. So it's complementary to the trials and to the evidence obtained in these randomized studies? Absolutely, absolutely. It is uh, absolutely necessary to have uh, this uh, data in order also to uh, intervene if there is the need with the educational program in uh, one particular country. So it goes from the, the evidence to education to uh, the registries and back to to the education if needed. Uh, absolutely and uh, also is important as a, a source of um, necessity, uh, what is necessary to do in, in order to improve cardiovascular treatment right. and the, cardio the diagnosis of cardiovascular disease in Europe. So what's the program of the ESC? You have quite a spectrum of registries, don't you? Yes, the program is very close to my heart because uh, I launched this program when I still was a president five years ago. And the idea was to have uh, data really representative of Europe. And I think we are achieving that because in the past, some countries were participating, let's say, with a thousand patients, usually the Eastern one, and others with the 10 patients. So right. there was no representation. Now we have uh, a representation of centers according to the population of the country. Second important point, we have uh, a representation of the different level of the hospitals. Because it is obvious, if you have an hospital like yours, who does transplantations, different. then you will have certain patients coming to you. But, not, uh, but that is not uh, the reality right. of the country. Then um, another effort that we made was to try to have uh, a group, a team at the Hart House who could uh, follow these uh, registries. And now we have uh, 12 very professional uh, people who are just dedicated to the registries. Yes, and which registries are you focusing on? Uh, just mention the topics to yeah, finish we off. Have, uh, I, I mean, we are focusing on 18 registries. I will not tell uh, all yeah. of them to you, but four different characteristics of registries, those that we call the general registries, which are covering the highly epidemiological disease, atrial fibrillation, heart failure, right. hypertension. Then we have what we call the sentinel registries. These are very important when a new device, a new right. diagnostic tool is coming up. We want to know whether it's safe, whether it's important exactly. and so on. Then we have uh, the so-called special registry. This is also important. There are areas of cardiology where it is very difficult to get uh, sponsorship right. in order to conduct the registries on cardiomyopathy, right. on uh, uh, peripartum um, diseases or, or cardiovascular disease in pregnancy. So that's uh, the special registries. And then we have the registries on prevention, which are following the Eurospy uh, program. Well, thank you very much indeed. This was enlightening. Uh, and now we hope that this program will blossom and uh, tell yeah. us more about uh, the practice in Europe. Absolutely. And uh, I know that the new leadership is going to support it, so we will do well. No problem. Thanks. Good. Thank you, Roberto.